with Service Dog Academy and Diabetic Alert Dog University, we actually help people train their own pet dogs to alert to diabetes, seizures, narcolepsy, and migraines. So these dogs can tell sometimes 20 to 30 minutes before a blood sugar meter can register that your blood sugar is going low or high. So not only do we help people train their own pet dogs for uh, medical alert work, but we also provide trained dogs for medical alert work. So last week, we posted a video on how to get your dog used to something that might be scaring them. And in the comments section on this website, we actually uh, noticed that there were a bunch of people who were having issues with thunder and storm phobia. We're gonna talk about three different things today that can help you help your dog become less anxious about thunderstorms or just thunder in general. The first thing that you're gonna do is you can actually get something called a thunder shirt. It works on the concept of pressure relieving anxiety. So I don't know if you've ever heard of swaddling a baby. It's kind of the same thing. So what we're doing is we're putting continuous pressure on the dog and we're not doing it really, really super tight. We're just putting a little bit of pressure on the dog and it actually helps to relieve their anxiety. So the second thing that you can actually do to help your dog with any sort of thunderstorm phobia is what you may not know is a lot of the reasons why a dog might have some thunderstorm phobia is because of the environmental changes that happen in the atmosphere when a thunderstorm happens to arrive. So what you can do is you can take a dryer sheet and you can take it and you can like rub it all over your puppy or your dog and preferably before you put the thunder shirt on and what this will do is this will prevent the static electricity buildup that happens when dogs uh, experience thunderstorms uh, that's why a lot of them actually end up going in the bathroom or getting in the tub it's because uh, it actually grounds them from the static electricity that happens during those thunderstorms and then the last thing that you can do to help your dog feel good around thunderstorms is you can teach them to like Kongs. Now what's great about Kongs is that they allow a dog to not only engage in smelling things, which helps to relieve anxiety, but they allow a dog to chew on things to help relieve anxiety. So as you can see, Mr. Luke is very interested in his Kong. Now what you wanna do initially is you don't wanna just give your dog a Kong every time a thunderstorm comes I want you to have your dog get used to using a Kong first and then you can start using it when the thunderstorms come so uh, also don't use these if your dog is guards food or resources because you can see <laughs> dogs get really 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 excited about these and uh, we actually have a video on our YouTube channel about how to make a Kong sickle and how to start getting your dog used to using this thing so again, those are the three things that you can do to help your dog feel better. You can use a thunder shirt, which applies pressure to the body to help a dog relieve anxiety. You can use your dryer sheet and you can take it and rub it all over your dog uh, to help reduce the static electricity buildup that happens in their fur that kind of freaks them out when thunderstorms come about. And then also you can feed them Kongs while the thunderstorm is going on or even before the thunderstorm starts so that they are chewing and so that they are smelling good food while a thunderstorm is going on and they are building up a positive association with what was once a scary thing. Mm -hmm.